Hey everyone, this is Canva. I just wanted to uh, show you how powerful this tool is. I've been using it for probably a year now and it's a good way to create banners for Facebook. It's a good way to create an ebook as a lead magnet or even to sell online. So I'm gonna give you a quick quick uh, tutorial on how to use um, Canva. And this is just a free version. You can get the, the paid version, which will give you more um, pictures and more tools, but the free version will definitely do just fine. So I like to use magazine cover as a template because it has some generated things already. Um, so we can go grab one of these. Um, you know, typically there's some that already have one to five little created templates or there's ones that don't have any at all. So we'll go look at this one. This one already has some templates already done. So we can just change some of the tooling as you can see here, it says Canva. Um, that, that means the image is already in use, so uh, or not in use, but we don't have the, the paid version, so we can't use the copyrighted um, images that they have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of this. I'm gonna remove this, and I'm going to change their picture, if I can do that. Let's just upload an image. There we go. Elite tools. Personal trainers. Guide to online training. And we're going to just change this a little bit. Free resource. Excellent. So that was super easy. I'm going to move this around just a little bit. Allows me to. Perfect. And we are done with that one. Perfect, so we'll just go into the next segment um, here. Delete that picture, we're gonna add a table of contents. We can make this super easy. Just delete all this, move this to the center. a little bigger delete this delete this delete this the tools how to use them closing bonus And that's it, that's my table of contents. I can just maybe grow this a little bit if I wanted to. And we already have that done. So we'll have a new page that we'll just add here as a splash page. Chapter one. And we'll go here. The right tools. And we'll just go yeah here. Let's 
super easy. Let's delete that actually. My trainer, Brandon. And delete all that. Perfect. So what do we do now? I mean, it looks like we have a decent ebook starting. Um, chapter one, we can do create this and we'll go chapter two, chapter three. So we only have three chapters here. How to use them. How to use them. And closing. And three, perfect. We got our three basic um, chapters here, um, our table of contents. Um, we can obviously change the pictures, or not the pictures, but the headlines and description and how many pages it's gonna be. But a good way to just create content in your easy templates is to create, I didn't need to make that many. is to create what you want for a, your page. So for instance, we'll just do a basic headline here, training tools for the ultimate guide for online trainers. I'm gonna extend that out here, move this here. Change this to a yellow to keep it consistent. Change this to black. There we go. That looks pretty consistent. Let's make this maybe a little bit thicker. There we go. That looks pretty good. We can create this. We'll go here. the topic let's change this to page one we'll move this to the bottom and we'll actually do a cool little trick here I don't know if I can copy that over, but we'll see. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it did work. Perfect. Go over that and we'll go oh one. And we'll move this over here. Perfect. Topic, subheading. Close all this. Center this. Center this. Perfect, and then we can just maybe put a cool design down the side. Maybe a black line. Perfect, and that's kind of the setup. Chapter one, and then we'll just make copies of these. Maybe four in each, and we just drop them down. And then we can move this up. down, copy, 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 chapter three, move this down, copy, 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 and then just the conclusion, 
we'll just make a copy of this. Move it to the bottom. And that's it. And that's how you create your ebook. And that is it. We will just go ahead and click on share, is it? Download. And we'll change this to a PDF standard, all 16 pages. We will download them. And that's it. That is how you make your ebook. And this is the completed version.